Still no official winner in the race for Nassau County Executive, and it will be next week before the final votes are in. As it stands right now, Republican Bruce Blakeman is ahead by nearly 12,000 votes over Democratic incumbent Laura Currens. That tight race will be decided by about 20,000 absentee ballots. But one candidate has already declared himself the winner, Bruce Blakeman. And he joined us this morning to discuss the election results and why he is certain he will come out on top. So, Mr. Blankman, good, uh, Blakeman, good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you very much. So first and foremost, you're ahead by nearly 12,000 votes, but there are, like we said, those 20,000 absentee ballots, right, that have yet to be counted. Why are you certain you are, in fact, the winner? Well, it would be very improbable to make up 12,000 votes out of 20,000 absentee ballots. So um, everybody that I've talked to that's familiar with the process has said that I've won. But um, the county executive has a process that she feels she needs to go through, and I respect that. Yeah, so at this point, she isn't conceding until all of the votes are counted. And here's what she had to say, and we'll talk on the other side. Oh, actually, it's a full screen. I'm sorry. There are many thousands of absentee ballots that are that still must be counted with more coming in. She said this is not over and we must trust the process. Every NASA resident who participated in this election is owed the opportunity to have their voice heard. So that being said, sir, uh, when will the absentee ballot count begin and how long do you think it's going to take before an official winner is declared? Well, the count will probably start Monday, and by next Friday, by a week from today, uh, I believe that it will be concluded, and I believe that I will be the county executive. So let's talk about this. Voter turnout in Nassau was only about 40% of the number that went to the polls last year, right? So was there a higher turnout, do you think, among Republicans in particular this go-around? Well, there was a higher uh, turnout among Republicans. I think that uh, many Democrat voters are very disappointed in the direction that their party's gone. Uh, they feel that their party has become a left-wing extremist party, a socialist party, and um, they're not energized by their own party's message. So uh, in, in, if you look on the other side of the coin, the Republican Party has the message now that's resonating with people, lowering taxes and, and cutting crime. Yeah, Republicans swept the major races in Nassau County. And including yes, the district good. attorney, comptroller, and county clerk. So why do you think Republicans are making a comeback in Nassau County when they overwhelmingly voted for Joe Biden last year? Well, again, I think it gets back to values and it gets back to uh, core principles. I believe that moderate voters of both parties, independent voters, they don't like the Democrat message of not having respect for law enforcement, the Bail Reform Act, which gives more rights to criminals than it does to victims, and the fact that basically they feel that the taxes are too high, that the reassessment by the county executive was messed up mm -hmm. and broken, and they want somebody to fix it. So, so I believe that's why the Republican message resonates. Yeah, so since you have declared victory, let me ask you a couple questions here. Will you, do you plan to roll back anything that Ms. Curran had put into place, in particular when it comes to into to safety in Nassau County, even though in recent years, Nassau County has been voted one of the best and safest places to live? Well, you know, that's not true. The, the fact of the matter is yeah. Nassau County is experiencing a crime wave, and that crime wave is regional. It has nothing to do directly with Nassau County, but it has to do with the Bail Reform Act, which is basically a get-out-of-jail-free card. We have to change that. We have to go up to Albany and lobby the governor and our legislators to change that law. Shootings are up 39% in Nassau County. Shoplifting's out of control. Car breakings are out of control. And that vote that my um, opponent talks about is by a, a magazine that's out of business. So uh, yeah, just to be clear, we're talking about a US, News, a U.S. News and World Report that came out September 28th, uh, just, just a, you know, two months ago, saying that Nassau County was one of the safest places and communities to live for the second straight year. So you're just disagreeing with that. Well, I, listen, I, I've met tens of thousands of people over the last five months, and not one of them, and I've asked them, have read new U.S. News and World Report. Uh, so I don't think there's much validity in, in, that, um, in that media outlet. It's not even a magazine anymore. And also, the fact is that a lot of that data was based on 
uh, when we were in a lockdown during a pandemic, during the, during the um, COVID-19 pandemic. So the fact of the matter is we have a crime wave. It's, we've got a great police department in Nassau County, but there's a crime wave across the whole region, New York City, Westchester, Suffolk County, um, New Jersey. Everybody has experienced that crime wave, and, and it, it has to do that with letting out criminals out of jail, which I think is, is, is really wrong. All right, Bruce Blakeman, uh, we're simply out of time here, but we'd like to, you know, when, when it's officially declared, have you back on to talk about some more initiatives uh, if you are, in fact, uh, deemed the winner here. But thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Have a great day. You too.